It is no secret the subway system suffers from a bit of an image problem, but improvements are percolating underground, and MTA officials hope that they are a sign of things to come. Until earlier this month, commuters at the 86th Street station on the queue line spent their time waiting for their trains, scrolling on their phones, or pacing aimlessly. Then, on March 7th, Winfield Street Coffee opened, and they had a new way to spend their minutes and money. I thought it was genius, a genius idea. A caffeinating canary in the coal mine that is the city subway system. A high-end shop that also sells pastries and other snacks steps from trains. When we visited, we met Carling Mott, who lives on the Upper East Side. This is my first time here. Well, what do you think about a coffee shop right on the train platform? I will probably end up spending a lot of money here. MTA chair and CEO Jano Lieber hopes other customers do too. He grabbed a cup before boarding his train. These guys at Winfield were very creative. They saw an opportunity and we bought into it. But this is a bigger story than just one nice coffee shop in one subway station. Winfield, with another shop in Croton and several in Connecticut, plans to open stores at the 72nd and 96th Street stations on the queue line by the end of this year. But it's time that we rethink what we're doing with retail in the subway system. No secret that people aren't buying newspapers anymore, so newsstands that focus on newspapers and magazines and printed material not doing as well. We want there to be presence on the platform and we want to meet the customer's needs. You heard what Lieber said about a presence on the platform. Unfortunately, both coffee and trouble have been brewing in the subway system. Crime underground is up and weekday subway ridership has hovered around 60% of pre-pandemic levels. Everything we can do to put eyes on the platform, to energize uh, subway stations is good for make, bringing New Yorkers back. It makes it a more attractive environment. It also makes, creates, you know, impacts in a positive way on safety. The MTA, which receives much needed revenue from the shop, wants to burnish the subway's image elsewhere, too. We're also looking at major new retail offerings to redo the retail at Rock Center, that underground mezzanine, and also the ones at the Port Authority bus terminal, 8th Avenue and 42nd, and at Times Square. Those are places that are ripe for new retail concepts. Winfield, open Monday through Saturday, appears to be winning with customers. We've already made regular customers. People come, they know my name already. You have to be super fast, you know, because that train, so a lot of people, they, they like to come right when their train is like a minute away and they say, I need this, I need this, I need this. And we have to hurry up and get it to them because we want to make that sell. Music to the ears of commuters on the go and a new perk of the subway system. I asked the head of the MTA about eating and drinking in the subway system given the mask mandate. He told me he trusts riders to be sensible. That is, take a bite or a sip and then put your mask right back on. Remember, the mask mandate remains in effect, at least for now. And what a great way to wait for your train to mm -hmm. have that cup of coffee. Oh, yeah, you don't have to stop at right Starbucks or Dunkin' afterwards. It's, you can kill two birds with one stone. It's oh, great. I love that. I love me some cup of joe in the morning. Okay.